The coolest vehicles on Earth you've never seen. What defines cool? There are a few significant, recognizable traits that spring to mind while discussing vehicles. Above all else, a cool vehicle needs to look good inside and out, and not only from the outside. A cool vehicle must be reliable, feature the newest and best technology, and in some situations, be reasonably priced. Are you excited to know about cool vehicles? Let's move on to the next portion of the video. Ferrari 296 GTB Currently, Ferraris are available in large numbers. The more contentious one will be covered later in this video, as we focus on the plug-in hybrid 296 right now. Ferrari's policy of using V6 power in its flagship mid-engine de Barlinetta has ended, but the astonishing output of 819 horsepower is still possible thanks to Electro Boost. It's also somewhat beautiful, at least to our eyes. Gordon Murray Automotive T50 the year 2022 will be crucial for Gordon Murray Automotive. Not only will the business start construction on a new headquarters, but the delivery of the 12,100 RPM tri-seat T50 for 100 incredibly lucky customers with lightweight and driver-focused tastes is also anticipated to start in the spring. Hummer EV – the military-inspired suv holic brand Hummer, which first came on the scene in the early 2000s and made a terrible mess of trying to peddle monstrous Tonka truck 4x4s to a gullibly patriotic audience, is back as an electric-only endeavor. What a difference in times. However, this vehicle will attempt to outperform the Cybertruck before Tesla releases the Angular pickup into production. The Hummer will weigh at least 4 tons, have 1,000 pound-feet of torque, and be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 3 seconds. America? Yep, truck. Porsche 911 GT3 RS Also expected in 2021 is the next chapter of extreme road-going Porsches, aka the one with the really big wing. An enormous swan neck spoiler is expected for the 992 RS, with a heap more radical weight-saving measures as per the old 991 gen car pictured. Mercedes AMG 1 Seriously, this car needs to facelift if it continues to be held up. Perhaps AMG regrets having drank all those beers and approved the ludicrous idea of installing a Formula 1 specific 2015 turbo hybrid engine in a street legal vehicle and make it trustworthy. Economical-ish, and anyone who isn't Lewis, Valtteri or George can drive it. In 2022, we'll learn whether it was a waste of time or a brilliant idea. Probably, after a long wait and an endless R&D budget, we have a nagging suspicion that AMG's one might actually be a game-changing hypercar. Aston Martin Valkyrie This one was on our list of the top 2020 automobiles and 2021. We will finally get to experience Aston Martin's road-going F1 car in 2022. Red Bull Racing and Adrian Newey's involvement has long since ceased. And although the first Valkyrie appears to have been delivered to a client, the reliability issues have prevented us from seeing much of the vehicle being driven aggressively. Additionally, the 1000 horsepower Cosworth V12 is irate at being kept waiting for so long. It will make for an intriguing subplot in 2022, especially in light of the potential release of another long-delayed hypercar. A Formula 1 car, the most intriguing cars in 2022, won't at all be allowed on public roads. Following the most thrilling season in F1 history in 2021, 2022 will see a complete re-evaluation of the aerodynamic performance of the vehicles. The wings have been redesigned to create less turbulent, dirty air, so the cars can follow more closely and appear to overtake more easily, even on the truly terrible courses like Barcelona, Sochi and Paul Ricard. Downforce will once again be produced through ground effect. Renault Megane e In 2022, Renault will add a family hatchback crossover vehicle to its lineup, extending it beyond the Zoe Super Mini. There won't ever be another gasoline-powered Megane. The current model is electric only and features what has to be the best Renault interior in modern memory. The cabin is welcoming. The surfaces are covered with gentle stitching, trim, and wood textures. Screens too, no doubt. Not the VW ID's toddlers. Whereas the VW seems to believe that too much information on driving and energy use will confuse and divert you. The Renault makes all of this information readily available so you don't have to hunt for it. Polestar 3 
Number-wise, the 3.0 Polestar is aimed at the American market. Thus, the SUV will be produced in the United States and in China, admittedly. Although deliveries won't start until the beginning of 2023, the 3 will likely be seen and driven this year, giving the new all-electric Porsche Macan something to chew on with its reindeer flavor. Range Rover the new 5th generation Ranji, another old favorite, has been promised to switch entirely to battery power. But that won't happen for a few more years. Currently, the only options available are a straight 6 and V8 engines, which primarily drive the rear wheels, and only engage 4x4 when slip is detected in an effort to conserve gasoline. We adore the new RR's clear, concise, and reductive design. Dacia Jogger with a shameless, boxy, incredibly useful piece of unpretentiousness, Dacia is back. With more seating options than Wembley Stadium and the promise of a hybrid motor, the Jogger is a type of low-riding SUV people carrier. Consider it the Skoda Roomster's spiritual successor, complete with an absurd name. Maserati Gran Turismo A large V8 was the only available power plant in a Maserati Gran Turismo in prior decades. The amount of force you applied to the throttle pedal determined just how much noise your massive, gorgeous Maserati made. Most London-based owners believe that the correct amount was as difficult as possible. Every day, Kensington reverberates to the sound of those operatic V8s. Not necessarily the case with the new automobile. In addition to V8 and reduced V6 power, an all-electric model will be silent. In the meantime, Maserati is also preparing an electric version of the MC20 supercar. Ineos Grenadier Money where your mouth is. The moment for all the whining whiners who whined that the excellent new Land Rover Defender was too opulent, sophisticated and pricey is almost approaching. The Ineos Grenadier, which is expected to follow up where the previous Defender left off in terms of robust ability but with BMW power under the hood, will be available for purchase in 2022. Pricing is anticipated to begin at about £48,000. The interior, hose down brigade, are you paying attention? Honda Civic Type R. It seems that the successor to the best hot hatch in the world doesn't mess about too much with the formula. The Civic Type R prototypes that have been spotted in testing thus far all come equipped with a 2 litre turbocharged engine, a manual gearbox, and a ton of aero. The ugly has changed. Honda seems to have realized the hot Civic doesn't need to be carved by 18 distinct designers who have never met or seen each other's work. Ferrari Purosang The Ferrari SUV is arriving. The designated thoroughbred will enter a society that is becoming more environmentally savvy but still ravenous for SUVs. So even before we see or hear how it looks like or what powers it, it's probably going to be a conversation starter. Although hybridization in some form is nearly certain, even Maranello aficionados are likely to overlook anything with a V12 in the nose. Mercedes EQE Mercedes has zapped the EQS Luxo barge with its shrink ray gun and is prepared to serve up the EQE somewhere else on Planet Electric Saloons. The headlines include a stated range of up to 412 miles, an AMG variant with 670 horsepower, and the option to add an enormous hyperscreen inside. Hyundai Ioniq 6. Isn't Hyundai having an incredible year right now? The Kona N is utterly insane. The Ioniq 5 is a gorgeous and perfectly realized EV. And even the Tucson crossover is prettier to look at than any current BMW. The i30N and i20N are great to drive. Cozy as well. The new Ioniq 6 saloon should therefore be a halfway respectable piece of machinery. It is an all-electric saloon that borrows the Prophecy Concept's pebble-smooth appearance and is built on the same chassis as the Ionic 5 hatchback. Here is the end of this video. Which one is more interesting? Comment down below.